Welcome back, Laro here from Larry's Fountain Pen, episode number 234. Today we're going to go back to 1998 in uh, Toledo, Ohio, USA, where the Conklin Pen Company was established. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a crescent filler, and uh, it's a Conklin Mark Twain demonstrator a real nice looking fountain pen and uh, let's take a look at the fountain pen beautiful blue dynamite I love the color of the blue I love the gold plated on the, uh, the gold looking clip you got your band at the bottom of the cap with Conklin on the front. In the back, you have Mark Twain, the signature. Come on down the barrel. Over here, the crescent. You have Conklin on one side. And then on the other side, you'll have... I don't know if you can see this or not. See, that will help you. The uh, crescent filler. Maybe that might help a little bit. Uh, anyway. So, at the bottom of the barrel, you got a gold ring. And here at the very bottom of the barrel is your... It's a limited edition, and they're numbered. And there's your number down here. And it's... Well, it says 0 to through uh, 0236 slash then 1898. That's what the number is in the bottom. And what I like about the clip is it's like a rocker. You press right here. You can clip it on to your shirt. And it'll stay on your shirt. And uh, this pin is a uh, bag fill. You press down the crescent right here to fill your uh, pouch, the little bag inside the fountain pen. Uh, it's really a remarkable, well-made fountain pen. At least I think it is. And uh, let's just take it out of the cap. Uh, inside the cap, well, you can see where the... Uh, clip hooked on inside right there that little band inside the cap really nicely made you see, see through the light here that's really really pretty now let's talk about as you step down the barrel you'll see another gold band right here before you get to the grip, and then here's the grip, and then you see this really nice looking number six nib, and it's a two tone, and uh, it says Conklin right here in gold, and then beneath it, Toledo, USA, again number six nib, and there's your breather hole. And quick look at the feed. And you just, you know, when you put your pin in the bottle, you want to put it in past that breather hole. And you want to press your crescent down and then let it up. And you'll see it, the bubbles sucking up into your bag. And I see if they can see it right in here. You'll see where the ink is right now. That dark spot, that's where the ink is right now. And there's the bag ends of 
about right in there, but it holds quite a bit of ink, this uh, fountain pen, and it does write very well. Uh, of course, you know my color is blue, and I, I love the Conklin line of fountain pens. I always have, and I always will be one of my favorite fountain pens. To show you what it looks like with another color, look at this beautiful red. Nice colors. Uh, this red also is, uh, it says made in, looks like it's saying, well that's hard to tell you down here, Italy. And uh, it's the same pen. Let me check back here. Both made in Italy. And I'm looking for a number. Evidently, this one does not have the number. So... That's probably not one of the limited editions. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this one has a number. And on, on the number one, this is limited edition, and it comes with a number. So I don't know if uh, that means this wasn't a limited edition, but I know this one was. And it also it comes with a stub nib, I believe. But both are number six nibs. Both are the same. The only difference is this one isn't numbered, the red one is, isn't numbered for the blue one is. Both good looking fountain pens that make a statement. You got some great colors going on here. Not wild, not boring. Look good with that gold trim on here. So, uh, let's uh, talk about some measurements on this pen. When the pen is capped, it's 5.5 inches long. When the uh, when the pen is posted, it's 6.5 inches long. And 0.5 inches in diameter at the widest point of the cap. And let's uncap it once again, and let's go ahead and post it. And here's what it looks like posted. I've written like this with it, and uh, it doesn't bother me. Some may think it's too long. I don't. It also, you can also write without the cap, and I have small hands, and it fits well. So I do like it either way. So now we're going to do a writing sample of this pen and I'm going to be using uh, the Clairefontaine paper and the ink I'm using is the Diamine Turquoise ink It writes very well, no skips, no problem starting right up. I've had this pen inked up. Let me check my chart real quick. And I'll tell you, I inked it on July the 3rd. That was a Monday. And uh, some fast writing. And it has no problems. I do a few S's here. And we'll do some upside down.
and you can get some fine upside down writing with not any problems at all from the pen. Let's check for some wetness. Looks wet to me. It's not enormous wetness. It's a nice, I would say, medium wetness. But you do have some nice wetness that I like about the pen. You know, I, I'm not into a dry pen. I just never have been. So I'm happy with the way this pen performs. It writes well. It looks really nice. I like the nib. I like the uh, the way the, the, the nib looks. The design of it. I like the design and the function of the fountain pen. Uh, I also love the color. So, last thing we're going to do is uh, I will put this with some other pens for some size comparison. I'll put that right there. And here's the Jin Hao 750. About the same length. Maybe the Jin Hao is a little bit longer. Here's a Pilot Metropolitan. And then uh, move this one over and we're going to put the Schaefer and these are a little bit shorter than the Conklin and the Conklin has more girth than the Politan or the Schaefer and the Noodlers Conrad beautiful pen they're hitting about the same on mark line there. And uh, this is probably even closer to the size of the Conklin. Nice pen, the uh, Conrad. Well, there you have it. That's going to conclude this episode. Hey, a thumbs up if you uh, find this uh, presentation of the uh, Conklin mock train interesting. Uh, put a thumbs up for me. Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, if you have any positive feedback, I'm open for it. And uh, appreciate everybody uh, taking the time to join me with this presentation. And uh, yes, I do have uh, PayPal and uh, Patreon. Support me if you can. Uh, but again, thanks for all your support that you've given me and uh, all the kind and thoughtful comments that you have given me, you know, as well. So, enough said. With that said, peace, love, God bless, and don't forget, be safe, and don't text and drive. I'll talk to you later.